Well, uh, let's go back to the US now, as I was talking before. Michael and Christy back with me. Um, uh, Trump today in the, the garbage truck was uh, reminded me a bit of Nick Xenophon, of course, back in the, the days when he was floating around in Australian politics. You know, proper uh, um, stunt-type stuff. But, but this is something that is a, a real danger for Harris now and has derailed the last week of the campaign as if things weren't already going badly enough for her, just the, the wind totally taken out of her sails. And then Biden, doddery old Biden, comes through, Michael, and just drops a bomb that she didn't need at the last moment. No, he's put in a uh, classic performance. Just imagine if he was still the candidate, mate, how, how, how the polls would be if Biden had been... <laughs> If Biden had been the candidate for the last three weeks, I mean, three months, I mean, seriously. Um, but, uh, uh, no, he's had a shocker. Um, what effect will it have? It's very hard to know. It doesn't help the Democrats, obviously. Uh, it probably gets more people out to vote who were maybe not interested in voting or inclined to Trump but not inclined enough to go out and vote having been referred to as basically human garbage, it, it will stimulate people to come mm. out and vote. But um, uh, will it affect the ultimate result? Probably a little bit. It's, it's an amazing election. I mean, you've got CNN who've got, who've got a poll yesterday showing that Harris is 5% in front in, in, um, in Michigan and 6% in front in Wisconsin. Uh, the betting markets have got Trump favourite in six of the seven swing states. Mm. Uh, she's just in front in Michigan. But, and that's why I find the whole thing hard to re read. You, you, uh, uh, gut instinct tells you that Trump's going to win and gut yeah. instinct tells you that Trump's going to win all those seven states. And the reason is, the reason is that in the 2020 election and the 2016 election, in the average of those seven states, they underestimated Trump's vote between 2 and 7%. Yeah. Two and seven percent in every one of those swing states, right? An average of about four percent. Now, if that's repeated, he wins easily. What I don't know is how much the pollsters have factored in the shy Trump voter effect. How much? How much have they increased Trump's vote in in you know some of those st states to make up for the shy Trump voter effect? That's what we don't know, which is why you know you wouldn't call it for Trump now with any great certainty, although he does look the winner. Yeah, and uh, of course, Rudd, Kevin Rudd. Christy, you'll be a bit worried if, if Trump does win. Reporting in the, the News Corp papers today that within diplomatic circles there's already talk about the, the possible need to get rid of him if Trump wins because, of course, he's been quite critical of, uh, of Trump in the past. Uh, the suggestion is maybe Tony Abbott would be good for the job. Oh, bad news for the Labor Party. They'll have to bring Kevin Rudd home right at a pivotal time when we're sort of six months out from an election. We don't, don't want, want him. To do that. We don't want him. They are... They are going to sing the praises of Kevin Rudd's ability to be the best man on the ground in Washington for Australia until that election is done and dusted, Caleb and Michael. That's my tip. <laughs> uh, your quick mm. prediction, Christy. Can um, I, Caleb, Caleb, go, yeah, go on, before, 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 Caleb before, we, before we get off this subject, very important. Joe Hockey, who was, of course, the ambassador and did an excellent job, an outstanding job by Hockey. As we know, Hockey and Rudd are quite friendly. Mm hmm Joe, if you're watching tonight, <laughs> if the orange man wins, do not ring the White House and say he's OK. Rudd's OK, mate. Just, just keep him there, right? Do not do that, Joe. The Sounds American nice. people have enough trouble without having Kevin Rudd representing our country over there. Well, that's true, but we don't necessarily want him back here either. It's, it's a strange equation, isn't it? We don't. It? And very, very quickly, though, your prediction, who do you think it's going to be, Christy? Trump, if there was ever a week to put old sleepy Joe back in the basement and pack him off to bed by 8pm, it would have been this one. <laughs> yes, indeed.